Do you read me? Come in, please. My name is Jay Teleski. I'm one of the owners of Array Solutions. We've been in business now for about 21 years, bringing uh, quality products to, um, well, right now we're bringing them to the Dayton Hamvention 2012. What I'm going to show you today is the ACOM uh, 1500. Brand new amplifier from ACOM. Uh, do you see the dials? Yeah. Uh, it has uh, 160 to 6 meter capability, 1500 watts PEP, and uh, 1200 watt rated for uh, data and CW modes. Uses a single 4CX1000 tube. And what's unique about this one, this replaces or is an upgrade from the ACOM 1000, which has been um, around for probably 15 years. The amplifier is capable, I don't know if you can see it, we're running 1600 watts CW. display. You can take it out of operate and it also has three antennas that you can select. That's the ACOM 1500 brand new amplifier. FCC has approved it this week and we will be having it on our webpage for orders and we'll be taking orders uh, as soon as we get the uh, certificate from the FCC. Thanks for listening. Okay. This is, uh, this is a new ProSysTel ring rotator made by ProSysTel from Italy. Uh, it is made out of stainless steel, laser cut to precision, so everything is accurate. The motor is the same motor used in the PST61D, which the Navy purchases. And there's some trickle-down technology here from the Navy contracts that we have uh, that, that I'll tell you about. This uses a Hall Effect device, a dual Hall Effect device, to, uh, to transmit the bearing and the direction of where the rotator is. The Hall Effect device is optical isolated, so, when, so if you have lightning event or nearby lightning strikes, you're not going to blow up a potentiometer, which is commonly used as a bearing indicator in most rotators. Uh, the, the plate to mount your boom is, is secured to, the, to this tower, but it would actually mount on two of these bolts to, to turn your antenna around the tower. The uh, controller is unique in other controllers in that this, this rotator self-calibrates. If I turn the thing manually, counterclockwise, you tell me you'll, you'll see that there's a magnet that's mounted on this post that comes into view. That magnet passes through a, 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 a detector underneath the motor, which is right here. And every time that magnet passes through there, the, the, ro the controller knows what direction that, that you're pointing because you've programmed that into the controller with software. To set this rotator up as a piece of cake and that you, you can mount it onto the tower very simply by mounting the, uh, the uh, plates on the tower legs first, taking a level and level them, then bringing up the rings which are split one, one half at a time, set the rings onto the plates that hold the ring to the plate, and then bring up the second ring, set it to its mounting plate, and bolt the uh, splices together on both sides of the rotator. The last thing you do is you bring up the motor and bolt it into place. Uh, there is no adjustment on the motor since this is precision made. There is no slop, as you can see in, in the construction of this. So the gears are always engaged. It will not jump track like other rotators. Uh, since this 
is a trickle down for some Navy products, Navy shipboard use products. Uh, the ceiling of this motor and, the, and its gearboxes uh, meet almost mil spec. The controller can be used in several modes. You can just manually turn it clockwise or counterclockwise. You have the ability to set it up in software to limit its travel from 500 degrees to one degree, or anything in between. So 360 degrees would be a normal way you would set this up. It also has a preset, so you can just give it a bearing and you let go of the controller and it will now start turning. In this mode, it has a soft start and a soft stop mode, which means that it'll slowly bring the load up to speed and then slowly bring it back down to speed. That's also programmable with the software, so you can tell it how many degrees you want it to ramp up and ramp down and how fast you want it to ramp up and ramp down. So that's the new ring rotator from ProSysTel uh, that is sold by Array Solutions.